Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are out at the range with a Beretta 3842, courtesy of Morphe's. Now, we've talked about this yesterday on the tabletop, looked at how Beretta was simplifying the Model 38. A while back, I had a chance to do some shooting with an early Beretta 38A, and it was a magnificent gun to shoot. However, a lot of changes and simplifications were made by the time they get to this. And I'm curious if this is as nice to shoot as the 38A, or if some of that shootability was sacrificed in favor of having a gun that was faster, cheaper, and easier to produce. So, this <laughs> is a great gun for a left-handed shooter, because it actually ejects out the left side of the gun. Left side of the receiver. We have a semi-auto trigger and a full auto trigger. Safe and fire. Do a couple rounds in semi. fairly easy gun to hit with, and then there is no selector to change. For full, you just go to the back trigger. Nice, low, controllable rate of fire. Takes a little bit of getting used to. Realize that, you know what, it's actually not gonna shoot that fast. You don't have to death grip onto the gun. You can just push gently back into it, hold it on target. I'm gonna go ahead and reload the mag. We'll do a little bit more. All right, it's kind of funny. We're filming a couple of different videos out here today. And uh, before I was shooting this, I was shooting some really high rate of fire Russian stuff. And so I picked this up and I'm like, all right, here we go. Yeah, and, and it's actually slow and pleasant. nice to shoot. Now, is it as nice as the 38A? It's going to be a little tricky to say because, of course, I don't have them both here side by side, but based on my recollection, this is close. It's not quite, it's not quite as close, it's not quite the same experience, but this is still a really nice gun to shoot. Like, there's good reason that the Italians loved this thing, and the Germans loved it too, and the Germans took as many Beretta 38 pattern guns as they could get their hands on during the war. Man, even the nice size magazines just seem to empty a little too quickly all the time. Fun guns, the controls are nicely laid out. If anything, the length of pull is maybe a little bit short. My face is awfully up close to the receiver here. On the other hand, maybe that helps make it, get, it helps give it some of that controllability. But uh, definitely a fun gun to shoot. Let's go ahead and uh, refill this guy one more time and have a little more fun before we close the video. All right, so overview on the Beretta 3842 would be, this is a gun that saw a tremendous amount of use in World War II, very historically relevant gun. You'll see these across the European theater of combat with a variety of different armed forces. It's fun to shoot, it's reliable, nine millimeter, it's easily available ammunition. It's a great machine gun for someone who is either a shooter or a collector. So, uh, this one, of course, is a Curio and Relic, fully transferable, registered piece, all the better. Unfortunate about the lacquered stock, but nothing can generally be perfect. So, uh, big thanks to Morphe's for giving me the opportunity to come put some rounds through this. We'll go ahead and close it out with uh, the whole stick there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. right on target wherever you hold it, very nice.